Hey, good afternoon. I'm certified meteorologist Brandon Orr. We got nearly a third of the entire people of the U.S. underneath heat alerts today. It is hot, it is humid, and we're feeling it down here in South Florida. We also have this heat advisory in place until 7 o'clock this evening. Because look at the heat index we're expecting to peak at this afternoon. 104 to 106 degrees. It is hot, it is humid, and we don't have much relief from storm chances. That's down to about 20%. A few isolated showers and thunderstorms bubbling up. It's just most of it is going to be in the Everglades and moving away from us. We have to get a storm system in here to increase our rain chances and we are watching one. It's a tropical wave out near the Leeward Islands right now has a 60% chance of development, not so much over the next day or two, but as we get closer to the weekend, it's really stretched out as it gets into the weekend too. our computer models all over the place with this kind of in two different camps. We of course have the European model and this is the, the track that I'm tending to favor at this point has the most support for it would be slightly faster development with this a track through the Bahamas and making that turn to the north near or east of the Florida coastline, a weaker system, especially uh, on the southern end of that tropical wave developing near Cuba would tend to put this in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So we'll have to pin this one down in the next couple of days. We know to expect at least more rain here in South Florida. The time frame would mostly be on Saturday and Sunday, but the moisture would linger behind the storm system into early next week. What to do at this point is just monitor future tropical updates. That is it. And you can tell the difference in the seven day forecast as rain chances 20% steadily increasing as we go into the weekend. High temperatures stay into the lower 90s. Lots of humidity on the way too. updates on local10.com. I'll see you there.